I'm feeling bad because you guys donated money so that I could move out of here and I can't afford to move. I didn't get that job and I can't move to that other town without a job because I can't afford the rents there. It's really expensive. So I'm hoarding as much of your money as I can. I did get the truck tuned up. I've had to buy a few meals out because of this situation. You see how small my kitchen is. I haven't had any decent refrigeration, which was okay during the winter, but now that it's summer, it's bad. The reason I'm showing you the floor is because most of that floor was taken up with an ice chest that you'll see in a little while, and it was not keeping food cold. In fact, you'll see even just sitting out overnight, things spoiled. That's my freezer. Um, that that's the new computer, the new laptop. So this is my this is the old refrigerator that came with the camper. Um, it's broken, but it makes a good storage space. Boy, I tell you, since that refrigerator broke, I've really been hurting. And when I first moved into this, I thought, gosh, what a tiny refrigerator! But I really could hold most of my stuff in it. Now I keep the non-perishables in it. My little shelf above, isn't that biscotti jar cute? Thrift store was throwing it out because it doesn't have a lid. You notice I found a lid for it. Most of the items you see here are either free or very, very cheap from thrift stores. This is my old bar size refrigerator. It cost me $35. I got it um, last winter. And that's about all it could hold. So there's no room for fruits and vegetables. It's having trouble with milk spoiling. I couldn't freeze any meat in that. I have the big freezer, but it's full of things like cheeses and frozen vegetables and or uh, uh, nuts and beans and things like that. There's Ivan. He heard the refrigerator open and he got all hopeful because there's Kentucky Fried Chicken in the house. Now that big black thing, that there used to be a filing cabinet there. That's my new refrigerator. I bought it with your money. Um, that's the freezer compartment. You can see it holds a good deal of stuff in addition to what my big freezer holds. So I can keep meat in it and stuff. Uh, this is before I went shopping. So you can see it holds a bucket of chicken and it would hold a thing of milk and stuff. Um, it's a lot more spacious. I could actually drink a cold soda. I can even put a two liter bottle of homemade iced tea in the door. Another view of the floor so you can see how little space there was. That's where the ice chest was. I was falling on things. It was hard to cook. Uh, and, you know, I don't have running water, so it's hard to wash dishes. There's the ice chest. Now, that sat out overnight with a jug of frozen water in it, and it still spoiled. One drop of chicken blood got in the bottom. You see the milk turned yellow? I've still got to throw it out. Ick. I had one little old raggedy head of lettuce. There wasn't any point buying fruits and vegetables. I didn't have any place to store them. This, I bought myself a pair of little Mexican chairs, ladder back chairs with cane bottoms for $9. One is in the kitchen and the other is in what used to be the back bedroom, which is now my closet recording area and storage for my arts and crafts. Little footstool that I found for free at the thrift store that they were throwing out. Chocolate chip cake that I got for free with my Kentucky Fried Chicken order. Because I look so sad because I didn't have any thighs. These are packages of Angus beef. After I bought the refrigerator the next day, I was so tired putting the refrigerator in. I knew I would be. So the next day after the refrigerator was put in, I went shopping. Those are little um, frozen dinners that were marked down really cheap. Sometimes I'm just too tired to cook. So, and I haven't had time to cook up burritos and stuff. That round thing there is a jicama which is a root vegetable that's kind of sweet, about the texture of an apple. Um, it fell on the floor while I was getting the meat out. There it is. Um, it's really good chopped up in salads. Look, a whole gallon of milk. This is Napa cabbage. The only way it would fit was to cut it in half, but that works. Napa cabbage is awesome in salads and it's really good steamed. There's feta cheese and also a sort of a bee cheese that's garlic flavor. That'll be good with crackers. Finally, fruits and vegetables, and I got as much vitamin C as I could. Navel oranges, tomatoes on the stem, ruby red grapefruit. 
because I've been getting a tingling sensation in my arms and legs. It's different than the feeling of your arms and legs going to sleep. It's like the muscles. There's something wrong with the muscles. I'm a little worried I was starting to get rickets. Fresh ginger, fresh daikon radish. I'm going to sprout part of them. I also got fresh um, horseradish root. It's outside soaking in water so that the roots will um, regenerate. Because I'm going to grow my own garlic and daikon radish. I'll let the daikon go to seed. See the um, brown sugar? I got golden and dark brown sugar marked down. Now look at the top of that ice box. Full of goodies. Um, I got a bunch of canned goods. There's some white cheddar popcorn. A bunch of pork rinds that were marked down really cheap. New marked down bread. A whole three pound bag of Vidalia onions, which are a sweet onion. You can only get them in season. Some old marked down Christmas candy and spice cake that I can add the oranges to. And look, my first homemade salad in six months and a watermelon. So I can't move out yet, but I'm hoarding your money and I'm fixing the truck. Thank you.